Yeah, so my friend was super stressed out and he said that they serve alcohol on campus. So he's like, hey, come check out the Cactus Cafe. Cactus Cafe has been here for a really long time and it's mainly a really well-known and well-established music venue in Austin. It can be quite slow in the morning. Most of the time it's uh, professors coming in. Every once in a while we get students coming in, but they mostly sit back and uh, just work on stuff. They don't really get drinks all the time. Because it's kind of a weird little hidden spot, so people don't really like know how to find it all the time. Well, before the Starbucks, there were like multiple different coffee shops out there, and the whole purpose of them was to try and like shut down and like get rid of the Cactus Cafe. See that that didn't work. That all that's left is the Starbucks, but. I don't think it causes too much of a problem because, yes, we do serve coffee here too. There's, it, it attracts different audiences and it's for different times of the day than the Starbucks and the coffee shop out there. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's too much of a problem. Definitely the only like real thing that happens is that we just don't serve as much coffee. I love the cactus. I've been coming here since I was a student back in the late 80s. It's a great place to both eat and drink. Like, even back in the day, this wasn't really a coffee place. It was more of a beer place. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's not too much of an issue. If anything, I would hope as someone who hopes the cactus lives on forever, that it would drive a foot traffic. I just wanted to grab a quick coffee before class. Yeah, probably. So it offers like a different place to hang out, whereas we have a lot of coffee shops and restaurants. We actually have a place on campus where you can drink and listen to live music. Like, I don't know. I think it's a nice little like, getaway from campus.